So good morning once again. Uh, the Office of uh, Career Services is a relatively new office because it was started in uh, 2019, September. That's when it was started. Before I was in the Dean of Students office, then I moved to the Career Office. Uh, the, the government decided that there is imp uh, it is important to have this kind of office because a number of people are coming to the university not knowing what careers they want to do. And while they are still in the university, they don't know what to do still. Maybe CV writing skills, you know, um, job search skills, and such like things. And then also, the, the government also wanted to have an office that will link with the alumni. So that when the university is producing, whatever they are producing, they need to follow these students out there and find out whether whatever they learned in the university is helping them out here. So, in short, the Office of Career Service is supposed to deal with uh, pre-university, university students, and post-university students. So that's why the Office of Career Service is there. If you go to our website, there is um, a graduate tracer study survey that is there, which I will also encourage you to fill so that we can be able to know where you are and whether what you did in the university is helping you in any way or if it can be changed in one way or another. So that office is there. Some of you we must have interacted with. Uh, others we have not interacted. But I'm sure if you watched your graduation, then I'm sure you also must have seen me there. In fact, I was wondering why you are saying you don't know me. Did you see me during graduation? Na vile nilifanya kazi kazi mingi sana ya kufanya MC. You should have seen me. So anyway, that is what um, uh, the Office of Career Service generally is. We are there. You can visit us. You can also interact with our students because we encourage the alumni to interact with the students to tell them exactly where they went after they completed university. So for me, I just want to congratulate you once more for scoring high grades in the university and getting a first class honors you have proved that uh, indeed you are the cream of the society you are the cream of the society you are the cream of our university and you are the cream of the world not only in kenya but the whole world so congratulations i have interacted with almost all of you because of graduation and because of orientation and many other activities that uh, we have had in the university. So I would like to thank the Alumni Association for this great initiative, the second annual scholarship and job search uh, conference. It is such a bright idea. I don't know where this alumni benchmarked from. I don't know whether I've had another university that does this, but this, are great, this is a great initiative. Because when you complete university and you go out there, Sometimes you don't even know what to do next because you have been reading, you have been waking up to a kind of a routine, you've been attending classes and so on. And then all of a sudden, you now wake up and there is nothing else that you can do. Do you find that a challenge? It is a challenge. It is a challenge for those of you who have not yet found something to do. It is a challenge. So this is a very great initiative. Uh, the Alumni Association, the chair and the team what you are doing here is great, being your brother's keeper, and therefore uh, we really appreciate what you are doing. What I will uh, advise you, those who have just graduated, is that I call you all to be uh, goodwill ambassadors of the university, of Chuka University. We may not have given you 100% what you desired, but it is still your alma mater. Even when your mom has some some, some defects or some faults, they are still your parents, isn't it? Or she's still your mother. So be goodwill ambassadors of Chuka University, speak well of the university, and through the Alumni Association, participate in making the institution a better place. Some of you really contribute a great deal making Chuka University a better place, even when our student leaders and uh, the students generally start thinking like they can do something which is not very good. Some of you call them and tell them, please come down 
discuss, have a dialogue with the management, and everything is going to be well. So we really appreciate, continue to participate in the matters of the institution through your alumni association. This should not be your last meeting of the alumni. It should be the first, and then you continue like that, because you will also be able to network with others. My brief topic is the wake-up call. That is my brief topic. The wake-up call. The wake-up call. Because you performed great. And everyone is looking at you with those eyes of, wow, this one scored a first-class honors. You are almost, you know, like uh, the untouchable. You are almost like the untouchable. When you are talking, they see a first-class honors talking. When you are walking, they see a first-class honors walking. When you are doing things, they see that first-class honors person. But you need to settle down very quickly. You need to settle down very quickly from that pride, that feeling that starts building inside you. When someone does better, you feel, you know, there is that pride that comes in. But you need to settle down very, very quickly. Why do you need to settle down very quickly? Because number one, you need to evaluate your options. And that is why you are here. Evaluate your options. Start looking around. Wake up. Do your research on the areas that you want to pursue and evaluate the options that are available for you. So start evaluating your options. This is Feb. You graduated in? Huh? In December. You have rested at least for one month, isn't it? And this is Feb. Now it's time to wake up. It's time to start evaluating your options. Is it a job that you want? You ask yourself that. Is it a job that I want? Is it a master's degree that I want? And finally, a P PhD. Do your research. Do your research. Do check your options. What are the options that are there? And that is why this meeting is here today. Because we have people that will speak to you and give you options that are there. Options that are available. And then you check what is it that you need to do. Number two, you need to separate urgent and important things. You need to separate urgent and important things. You need to think through. You need to set goals for what must get done right away and what can wait. You need to separate urgent matters and important matters. What is urgent? You need to check. What is it that is urgent? Is it further studies that is urgent? Is it employment that is urgent? Is it marriage that is urgent? You need to be able to separate the urgent matters and important things. And you need to also check those things that are important. Can they wait? You check whether they can be able to wait. If they can't be able to wait, then they are not just important, but they are urgent. They are not just important, but they are urgent. So check what is it that is urgent that needs to be done right, uh, right away. And what is it that is important but can wait? What is it that is important that can, can wait? So you, you, you are able to wait. You are able to separate. This is urgent. I need to do it immediately. This is important, but it needs to wait. I don't know. I'm feeling like commenting about marriage. Do you think marriage is urgent? Maybe one of you can tell me. Do you think marriage is, is urgent? Okay, we have yes and we have no. And that is why I'm saying you need to separate here. Because for me, marriage can be urgent. So I put it on the urgent uh, column. And then the other one can be important. If you can be able to carry both of them, marriage and other urgent things, well and good. So that you are not graduating with a PhD. Then unangali around. Wale wote ulikuwa unaadmire. Hello? <laughs> Wale wote ulikuwa unaadmire. Wamefanya nini? Wameenda. And then the, one, the other ones now you start approaching wanaanza kukuliza ulikuwa wapi? Ulikuwa wa? Umekuwa kifanya nini zimiakazote? How old are you? Hello? So you need to 
see, you need to check. You need to weigh urgent matters and important matters. You check. If you can do marriage and have the same studies and have the same employment, then do all of them. If you can't, if you are that kind of a person who, una, una, you know, there are people who know how to multitask, eh? and there are those ones who don't know how to multitask. They just want to do one thing at a time. So if you are that kind of a person who does one thing at a time, then identify which is it that you want to do at a time. Lakini usifike uko ju, wanze kuangalia, useme emeri, ni kwa nampenda sana, ako api. Uh, Judy, ako api. And then they all tell you that they are married. Separate urgent and important. Number three, seek support. Seek support. That is why the alumni are here. They are here to give us support. They are here to point. We may not go the direction they give us, but it will open our brains and we will be able to understand the options that are there for us. Speakers from various fields today will come. We are waiting for some of them to come. Brighter Monday is here. And even them, them themselves, they actually are a resource. In fact, if there is a resource in this room, because me have not experienced the other speakers, for me I would say, Livingstone is a resource in himself. Hello? Because I've experienced. I've experienced him. I've experienced him, you know, motivating students. I've experienced him pointing uh, to students, pointing to the youth there and saying, you can do this, you can do the other, and they have become successful. So, there are resource persons today here in this room. That is why you are here, seeking support. The resource uh, persons that are here as alumni members, the resource persons that are here that have been invited, and even some from abroad, you can hear that there are some even from abroad. They will talk to us. Seek support. Find out where can you be able to get help. Seek support also from friends. Seek support also from relatives. Because you cannot do it alone. You need to consult. You need to seek support from other people. Number four, find your passion and pursue it. Find your passion and pursue it. Passion is the oxygen for the soul. Passion is the oxygen for the soul. Passion is the driving force. What is it that you are passionate about? What is it that you are passionate about? Actually, most of the things that will make you great, nobody tells you to do them. In fact, other people don't see them. It's only you who feels it inside. You feel it inside, you ask someone, can I do this? They tell you, Ay, apana, yo, I was a can. But you can feel it inside you that this is something that you can be able to do. Let's give an example of Professor Wangare Madai. She even uh, won an award, isn't it? Is there anybody who told her to protect forests? Is there anybody who told her to protect even the Uhuru Park that is here? If anything, everybody was telling her, please don't go there. Please, you'll be beaten. Please, your hair will be pulled out. Please, that is a no-go zone. And yet, that is what made Professor Wangare Madai. We remember her up to today, and she will be remembered by our children. She will be remembered by our great-grandchildren because of what she did. What is it that you are passionate about? There must be a passion inside you. There must be a passion inside you. Whatever you are passionate about, pursue it. Whatever you are passionate about, pursue it. Don't go by what others are doing, but learn from them. Don't go by what others are doing, but learn from them. Then when you learn from them, you clear your own path. You clear your own path. I interviewed uh, MCA Tricky when he came for Freshers uh, Takeover in the university, um, I think uh, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. And this is what actually he said. He said each of us should clear their own I interviewed him. I even uploaded him in a YouTube channel called Touch of Grace. I've started that YouTube channel to be able to encourage you, to be able to encourage someone else. It's called Touch of Grace KE. Touch of Grace KE. And MCA Tricky said, clear your own path. Clear your own path. I also interviewed Joy Ngare. Some of you may know her. Joy Ngare, I don't know whether he completed with her or she was uh, behind you. And Joy Ngare was talking about 
starting small and she was uh, 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 making things like samosas and selling them. Every day she wakes up, she has orders. In fact, they even get finished. In short, let us not sit at home. Sometimes, um, sometimes way back, we, we, we heard in the news of one of our students who scored a first class honors from Rift Valley and he was sitting at home. He was sitting, she was sitting at home. She was sitting at home doing, you know, looking miserable. When you've gotten a first class honor, please don't look miserable unless it was a mistake. Hello? Unless it was a? Because there is something that you can be able to do. Maybe when I've mentioned cooking samosas, some of you have told yourself, I naizaje pika samosas. <laughs> naizaje pika nini? But can you imagine making 200 samosas in a day and making it a job, doing proper packaging, doing proper delivery, nice delivery. How much money would you earn in a day and how she's selling at 30 bob? Here in Nairobi, they are sold at 50 bob. How she's selling at 30 bob? 200 samota, uh, samosas at 30 bob. How much money is that in a day? How much money is that in a day? If she removes the cost, how much money will she have made? Maybe 3,000 in a day. Times 30 days, Will she look for a job? Will she look for a job? And yet there are people that are out there who want to eat samosas. I'm not telling you to make samosas. I'm telling you to do something that is within your passion. That is within your passion. Number five. In every situation you find yourself in, either willingly or unwillingly, pick a lesson. In every situation you find yourself in, willingly or unwillingly, pick a lesson and move on. Pick a lesson and move on. For instance, it would be a crime for you to attend this function today, then go home and fold your hands. Pick something in this conference. Pick something in this conference and move on with it. Whether you've been there willingly or un unwillingly, just pick the lessons and move on. Because every experience has a lesson. Every experience has a lesson. Even a bad relationship has a lesson. Hello? Even a bad relationship has a what? A lesson. Whether you find yourself there willingly or unwillingly, pick a lesson and move on pick a lesson and move on. There is a book that I read and some of you may have read the same book. Robert Kiyosaki. Why A students work for C students and B students work for the government? Who has read that book? Hello? Why a students work for C students and B students work for the government. Now you are the A student. Can you picture yourself working for the C student? C, semi C student Simzuri. Hello? But I'm saying, can you picture yourself working for the C student? How uh, good will you be feeling when you are working for this C student? Does it mean that the, the C student has better brains than you have. Does it mean that the C student has better brains than you have? No. It only means that the A student is not doing what the C student... The A student has pressure. Mana e ni academics is na flow too. Academics is na fanya nini? Zina flow. C student amekulwa na shida. Hello? Shida imempata mpaka finally ame think out of the may think out of the box. So, we are calling you. I'm not calling you not to work for a C student, but I'm making a wake up, a wake up call to you so that you can think out of the box. Think out of the box. Become entrepreneurial if you can. Create something. Create something. Write something. Write a book. Write something. Invent something. Invent something. Invent a solution. Hata kama unafanya biomed. Uliko unafanya biomed. Ka solution ambayo interchange people's lives. 
Hello? Invent something. Think of something. Become innovative. Become innovative. After all, you are the air brain. You are the brains of this society. You are the brains of this community. Why shouldn't you come up with something that will change people's lives? You need to come up with something that will change people's lives. There is a quote from Anonymous which says that every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. Every morning a gazelle wakes up in Africa. It knows it must outrun the fastest lion or it will be killed. Every morning a gazelle wakes up. That gazelle knows if I don't run faster than the slowest lion, I will be dead meat today. Then, every morning in Africa still, a lion wakes up. It knows it must run faster than the slowest gazelle. When the lion wakes up, the lion knows that I must run faster than the slowest gazelle or I will starve to death. It doesn't matter whether you are a lion or you are a gazelle. You must be running. That is what it means. Are we together? It doesn't matter whether you are a lion or a gazelle. You must be running. Every day you wake up in the morning, you must be running. It doesn't matter whether you've gotten first class honors or another person has gotten a pass. You must be running by morning. Every morning you must be running. So you must be running for your success. You must be running for your success. Run for your success. Every morning you wake up, you must run for your success. I wish you all the best in your future. May God keep you. May God protect you. May God guide you. And may God be with you always. Thank you very much.